Hello and welcome to Wembley, where AFC Wimbledon is taking on Arsenal in the FA Cup semi-final. Everything is beautiful and nothing hurts, my friends. We're going to try to win this game, but at this point, it's all gravy. The, F the FA Cup is a winner go home competition, but we're playing it at... Look at the stadium, if you will. This is very important for the rest of the video. As you can see, it seats like 80,000 people. AFC Wimbledon, the real AFC Wimbledon in, in South London, they play their games uh, at Kingstonian, which seats, I think, like 3,000, and, and in total, you know, you got like 1,000 in the John Green stand, 1,000 in the uh, Chemflow end, and then there's a bunch of standing, so in total they can fit about like 4,800 people, but it's most, but it's, you know, some of it's standing. Uh... Wembley seats 80,000 people. Today we've got it packed for the FA Cup semifinal. But there's incredible drama happening in real life uh, as, as we speak. Uh, by the way, I've got uh, uh, Dave Besant's son, Sam, uh, in goal today because Dave Besant uh, saved a penalty in the uh, FA Cup final that Wimbledon won back in the 1980s. And I'm trying to recapture a little of that Besant magic. So anyway, um, the real AFC Wimbledon uh, won... They've, they had the best, the second best uh, record in League Two, the fourth tier of English soccer, during the second half of the season. They went from 14th place all the way up to 7th, the final playoff spot. So AFC Wimbledon are in the playoffs. Four teams are, are in the playoffs. Uh, AFC Wimbledon, Accrington Stanley, that's who AFC Wimbledon's playing, and then uh, Portsmouth and Plymouth are playing each other. That's actually already ended. Plymouth Argyle. Uh, their mascot is a sh is a ship, the Plymouth Argyle sailing ships of Plymouth. Um, they uh, they they emerged victorious against uh, P P Portsmouth. So uh, Plymouth Argyle are going to Wembley, the very same Wembley you're looking at right now uh, for the League Two playoff final uh, to be played May 30th. AFC Wimbledon. Uh, are playing Accrington Stanley in the semis. The semifinal is a two-leg, two-legged affair. Oh, I was gonna say that it's like uh, Bald John Green and that it has two legs, but then I it, it got too dramatic and I forgot my joke. Um, the playoff semifinal is like Bald John Green in that it has two legs. Is the joke less funny um, when I <laughs> failed to tell it, then told you that I was gonna tell it, then told it, or is it more funny? I don't know. I'm not an expert in comedy. I'm an expert in FIFA. Um, so. It's a two-legged affair. There, there's the home leg, and then there is the away leg, and then the combined score of those two games uh, it decides who is, the, who is the winner that gets to go to Wembley, and then if you win the playoff final, you get to go to League One, the third tier of English football, and it's always been my dream to sponsor a third tier English football team, but only if it's AFC Wimbledon. So, the first uh, game was, uh, was, was uh, Saturday, uh, while I was driving the pace car, d totally completely different story but 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 weird uh, I drove the pace car uh, in an Indianapolis uh, IndyCar race the Indianapolis Grand Prix I believe it's called the Angie's List Grand Prix of Indianapolis don't forget to use Angie's List it's a really great resource oh crap off the post oh Sammy had it covered that's Theo Walcott you know what they might pay a hundred thousand dollars a week to their players but we've got something they can't buy heart also ball John Green Turns out he was for sale, actually. Anyway, um, oh, oh, I've been fouled! I've been unjustly maligned! Ah. Oh. So anyway, point being, um, AFC Wimbledon played the first half of their two-legged semifinal uh, on Saturday. Uh, might have been Sunday. I, all the days are mixing together. Rosiana, it was Saturday, right? Rosiana thinks it was Saturday, and she's kind of an expert in the field. Sam Besant, great save. We are getting torn apart up that wing by uh, by Arsenal. So uh, it was an it, that 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 is the home leg. Um, that was the leg at uh, Kings uh, at, played played at AFC Wimbledon Stadium in front of the John Green Stand, etc. Uh, so that's the game you really want to win. Obviously, it's easier to win your games at home than it is to win uh, on the road. Uh, and AFC Wimbledon uh, had a good game against Accrington Stanley, uh, but they had not scored. In fact, they haven't scored a ton of goals uh, in their last several games. It's been a bit of a bit of a dry spell. And then in the 90th minute in stoppage time, uh, Adebayo Akinfenwa had come on as a substitute. And Adebayo Akinfenwa got the ball on the touchline. It was really a very wimbly wombly situation. He got the ball kind of in the corner on the touchline, one of the places I love to go. You know how I love to run to the corners. I'm going to do it right now. He got the ball like right down here, 
You know, like right here, and then he passed it into the box, and then, oh! That didn't happen. What happened instead is that the ball fell to Tom Beer. Now, you may know Tom Beer because he is a uh, sometime member of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly's, but he spent most of... Oh, off the post! Oh! He spent most of this season uh, on loan. He's still a young player. He's an AFC Wimbledon Academy graduate, was, was a youth player for Wimbledon. He spent most of the season on loan uh, in the sixth tier of English football. By the way, he's on the ball right now. This very same Tom Beer. Look at him cut back. Oh, suck it, Arsenal. Come on, boys. Oh, frustration. Um, so he spent most of this most of the season on loan in the sixth tier. He's going to take a shot. That was a terrible shot. Uh, that was extremely ill-advised T-Beer for future reference. Ball falls to him from Ockenfenwas cross. Uh, he takes a shot. The keeper saves it, but it bounces right back to him. He takes another shot and he scores in the 92nd minute. It wasn't just it wasn't just a massive goal for Tom Beer. It was his first goal ever in uh, in league football ever. Uh, that's a pretty amazing moment to have your first goal. He didn't even, uh, he didn't even know he was going to be in the game. He said, uh, he said, I'm really glad I checked my phone. Uh, I was hanging out watching TV with my girlfriend. This isn't a direct quote, but it's pretty close to a direct quote. I was hanging out watching TV with my girlfriend and my phone was charging upstairs. And my girlfriend said, Hey, you should check your phone and make sure you're not going to be on the, uh, on the bench for today's game. So I went upstairs and I checked my phone and I had a bunch of calls. <laughs> and it turns out he was on the bench for today's game. And not only was he on the bench, he came on, scored a massive goal. Speaking of which, top beer! Are you kidding me? Tom Beer! Tom Beer! Are you kidding me? Oh, it's a beautiful run, and he scores his first goal as a Wimbley Wombly just a day after scoring his first goal for AFC Wimbledon. Everything is beautiful. What a finish by Tom Beer! It's 1-0 to the good guys! Oh, he's beautiful. Handsome lad. I like the, uh, I like the scruff. <laughs> And that was in the stoppage time of the first half. Not quite as dramatic, but still really so a big deal. So now, Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time. Yes, you can watch these games. on They're televised, but uh, if you're in America, you have to watch it via an illegal stream. Huh? 2.45, Rosiana says. Rosiana has this ongoing calendar of not just all the events happening in her life and my life and AFC Wimbledon, but actually all the events going on on Earth at all times. Uh, she can like she can see it all. She has like a calendar in her brain that has like thousands of events. Um, when does Euro 2016 start? She says she doesn't know, but she's just she's just lying because she doesn't want me to think that she's weird. Um, so anyway, uh, so AFC Wimbledon are go Wednesday at 2:45 p.m. Eastern Time, 7:45 p.m. If you live in the uh, the UK, you can watch live on Sky Sports One. Um, or you can watch in America live via an illegal stream because there's no uh, legal way to watch the game. And if there's no legal way to do something, it's okay to do illegal ways. Get there, Sam Besant! Oh, I love the way he came out for that ball. That was beautiful. No, no, need to, no need to hurry here, guys. We can just take our time. Out to Meadsy. Oh, yeah, right. Like, oh, Meadsy! What are you doing? Goodness gracious, Meadsy. Now's not the time for fancy tricks. So, um, that's a nice ball. That's a good ball. There goes Barcham. Barcham. Marching. He's going to go to Ball John Green. It's a good cross. Oh, Ball John Green almost got there. Almost got there. Um, in general, I've been thrilled with the way the Wimbley Wombies have played. We had, a, we had a difficult first 20 minutes, but we've picked up the pace significantly, and things are starting to look up. Um, and then Ball John Green just stole the ball. That was pretty beautiful. Now it's going to go to Akinfenwa, 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 Akinfenwa. Oh, it's just trying to get open. He couldn't do it. So the second leg of the semifinal is at 2.45 on Wednesday. Uh, if you are watching this uh, as it is being uploaded, that means that it is the day after tomorrow. That happens to be the exact same moment as the Europa League final uh, in which uh, uh, Liverpool will be taking on Sevilla. So there will be some double screening going on at my house. But yeah, you can watch live via an illegal stream or if you live in the UK or Europe, live on Sky Sports 1. Uh, it's going to be incredibly exciting. Obviously, I, I'm not telling you to, do, to watch on an illegal stream. I'm just telling you that it's possible. Um, it's going to be incredibly exciting. Wimbledon, if they win or tie that game, uh, will go to the, um, 
to the final, which we played at Wembley on May 30th uh, with at this very stadium, I will be there. I don't know how I'm going to get there. It's going to be very complicated. I have some obligations at the Indianapolis 500, which occurs the afternoon before, but it's going to happen. I am so I, I I just I'm so thrilled for Wimbledon. The season they've had is just amazing. It just it it's the very best of um. I don't know. I just I really think that it. I, I'm I, I can't believe it. You can probably hear it in my voice. Like I just uh, I'm just completely bowled away that this is happening to them. I'm so thrilled for them. I just. I desperately, desperately want them to win or tie that second game so they can go to Wembley. Uh, I mean, obviously, it'd be great. And then, and then they have a chance. You know, if they, if yeah, I it would just, I, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's just focus on this one game. So, you know, Meredith, are you familiar with uh, magical thinking? Like, did you ever, when you were younger, because I'm sure you're too sophisticated for this now, but when you were younger, did you ever think like, oh, if I make this basket? Um, I'll get an A on the test or I'll pass the test. Or For me, it was always I was playing video games and I would think if I win this game of NHL 95, then person X, who I'm not sure if they like me, does. And that's how I'll know that I can ask her to be my girlfriend. Um, NHL 95, by the way, came out when I was 19 years old. Uh, and I, and I, still, I still thought that way. Like, I, you know, like I just, I, I felt like, Somehow, sometimes I just felt like uh, the, the I needed to divine how the how to figure out the signals the universe was giving me. This is a deeply human thing, right? Like I can fend, I can fend, I can fend. Onside, onside! Oh, it's a beautiful finish! It's a beautiful finish! And I believe AFC Wimbledon have just punched their ticket to the FA Cup final. Oh my God! It was a massive, massive goal from Adebayo Akinfenwa. you got to say, really good release there by Bald John Green. Uh, nice use of the Y button. I don't like to brag, but, but that was a pretty good use of the Y button by me. And then Akinfenwa just, I mean, off the underside of the post. A magnificent finish to use his laces, just like they teach you to do when you're five years old. Anyway, like, you know, like the ancient Greeks and Romans, they would they would go to oracles to try to figure out what was going to happen or they would, uh, you know, cast lots or whatever. And, and um, or you know, it, I understand that it's just superstition, but there is a big part of me right before this game kicked off, Meredith, to tell you the honest to God truth that thought if AFC Wimbledon win this game, then maybe we might go to the playoff final like. If the Wimbley Wombleys win this game, maybe the real AFC Wimbledon might go to the playoff final. And it looks like we're going to win the game. So I just, I can't help but have hope. Plus Tom Beer scored. That's so statistically unlikely. He's a 60. You know, we've got like 85s on this team now. I don't know. I'm just starting to have hope. Hope is the thing with feathers. Oh man, it could be beautiful. I mean, what? Anyway, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. It's already been a great season. No matter what happens, it's been an amazing season for AFC Wimbledon. Um, the first season with the John Green stand, you know, can't think that that's a coincidence. Um, so excited to try to, I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue that sponsorship, especially if they get promoted to the third tier, but I'm going to try. I'm going to have a long, difficult conversation with my, my awesome wife about whether what our priorities are as a family. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little it's difficult to justify it i mean you know but it's not impossible it's a marketing cost it's tax deductible meredith um i'm already preparing my i'm already preparing my arguments <laughs> oh man it would be so fun it's just so fun to have the john green stand it's so cool get there Akin Fenwa. oh that's good that's good that's good yes really good passing Let's just kill some clock. Oh, or pass it to the other team. Both are great. Both are good. Uh, I like that unnecessary slide tackle, though. That was good stuff. Go oh, wow. Somehow that tackle didn't work. I thought that was really well-timed by me. I don't like to brag, but usually... Okay, there we go. Now we got the ball back. John Green. Oh, boy. John Green, not his best work there. That's good, though. That's nice. Oh, nope. Boy. John. Uh, yeah, I mean... The uh, Big Bird John Green not had not had a great game. 
uh, since he came on as a substitute. But the important thing is that we're two 0 up. We're in the 90th minute. It looks very good now to go to the uh, playoff final, uh, to go to the FA Cup finals. See, I, I started mixing up real life and uh, and fake life again. But anyway, long story short, AFC Wimbledon, the real AFC Wimbledon playoff semifinals, second leg, Wednesday, 2:45 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it's going to be incredible. You can follow along with me uh, at Sports with John. I'm going to make Meredith watch, so you can also follow along at the Wimbly Wombly's Twitter, which is at AFC Wimbly Wombly. Um, and it's going to be great. Or you could follow the actual AFC Wimbledon at AFC Wimbledon. But, you know, at AFC Wimb- Wimbly Wombly has all your AFC Wimbledon news for both the real and the fictional squads. Thank you for watching. Congratulations again to Wimbledon on an amazing season. And congratulations to Tom Beer on his first goal for both the Wimbley Womblies and AFC Wimbledon. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.